Now let me start inverse trigonometric. See, inverse trigonometric, nothing is difficult. This is completely formula based questions. When I taught this topic, all formulae I derived. So you go through first formula. Now what is the conclusion of this topic? In case if it is a cot inverse, give suitable substitution so that you bring inside cot of something. Tan inverse, give suitable substitution so that you should bring in terms of tan something. So the main target is, if you see cot inverse, then you should bring cot of something. If, you, if, you, if it is a tan inverse, then you should bring uh, tan of something. That is the secret of this topic. Nothing is difficult here. Now, so, some main formula 1 minus cos 2 theta. We will use this formula frequently. That is equal to uh, 2 sin square theta. And then 1 plus cos theta. We, we use this formula that is equal to 2 cos square theta. And then uh, tan 3 theta. This is also formula we use frequently. 3 tan theta minus tan 2 theta. The whole upon 1 minus 3 tan square theta. And then next uh, we use that formula sin 2 theta in terms of tan that is equal to tan 2 theta upon uh, that is tan 2 theta upon um, uh, 1 minus tan square theta. Tan 2 theta, sin 2 theta equal to tan theta upon 1 minus 1 plus tan square theta. And then cos 2 theta that is equal to uh, 1 minus tan square theta the whole upon 1 plus tan square theta. So sin 2 theta equal to 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. Okay fine. And cos 2 theta equal to 1 minus tan square theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. And tan 2 theta equal to 2 tan theta upon 1 minus tan square theta. These are the basic formula. No need of telling right now. Even then I am telling. It is so simple topic. There is some formula inverse trigonometric formula I have given you. So what are the formula? That is tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. So plus or minus. Suppose if I take tan inverse y, that is equal to tan inverse uh, x. Uh, plus r minus y the whole upon 1 minus plus uh, x y. If it is a plus, you put it a plus minus r minus. Uh, similarly, cot inverse, similarly tan inverse. And then this is 2 tan inverse in terms of tan inverse that is equal to uh, tan inverse 2x upon 1 minus x square, 1 minus x square. And then uh, 2 uh, tan inverse in terms of cos inverse, I have given the formula cos inverse of 1 minus x square, the whole upon 1 plus x square. And then 2 tan inverse in terms of sin inverse, I have given the formula that is sin inverse of 2x upon 1 plus x square. These are all the formula most important and simple, simple formula, whatever I told you. Minus to sin inverse, uh, minus x is equal to minus sin inverse of x and then cos inverse of minus x that's equal to cos inverse of minus x that's equal to pi minus cos inverse x minus these are all the formula most important formula and then again we have seen another formula this you know about it and then uh, sin cos tan inverse of minus x can be written as minus tan inverse x and similarly it's reciprocal cosac inverse of minus x is equal to uh, minus cosac inverse x and then uh, cos inverse of okay, sac inverse of minus x is equal to uh, we have seen sac inverse of minus x equal to pi minus sac inverse x and then uh, uh, which one cot inverse cot inverse of minus x that's equal to pi minus cot inverse x so these are all the formula most important formula so just what I am telling you just you recall the formula this topic is nothing is difficult just you follow the NCRP and uh, some extra question at the time of doing this uh, topic I have done so many extra questions that's you have to go through it that is enough for you so nothing I don't want to say uh, much more about this topic one thing uh, when you uh, find this principle value then you should you should write down principle branch for example suppose find the principle value of suppose if they question if they ask the question find the principle value of sin inverse of minus 1 by 2 for example I am giving you so that is equal to what you do generally uh, minus so 1 by 2 to now when we get sin uh, pi by 6 now minus sin theta can be written as sin of minus theta so that is equal to minus pi by 6 that is equal to what you write that is equal to minus pi by 6 you should check whether this value must belong to principal branch or not what is principal branch of sin inverse closely interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so if you are not writing this principal branch then this value will not 
contact acceptable. For example, in case cause inverse question, one more question let me take. Suppose cause inverse of minus root 2 they have given. Okay, fine. So that is equal to cause inverse of minus b root or root 2 when we get root 2 that is cause 5 by 4. Now you know cause minus cos theta can be written as what I told you. Cos 180 minus theta 5 minus 5 by 4. Now that is equal to cos inverse of cos inverse cos cancel. That is equal to 3 pi by 4. So definitely this belongs to closed interval. So if you are not writing branch, you will not deserve for one mark. So, so be careful whenever you do one mark, one mark question. So exact to the point answer be required. So no need of solving each and everything, but whatever you are writing answer, that should be proper. Are you clear what I am saying? So inverse trigonometry, what I told you, thoroughly you have to do the NCRT question. Whenever you do domain range, you should keep in your mind and formulae and substitution. Trigonometric formulae, you should remember all formulae. It is quite easiest one. So I don't want to say much more about this topic. Now let us begin another topic that is matrices. Matrices, I don't want to say here is also much more about this uh, matrices. I hope so you are clear about this topic. So remember all formulae then start this topic clear. Now, so what is matrices? Matrices what you, what you can refer to easily. Matrices, let us begin. Now, see matrices number one. Uh, uh, number one that is um, uh, construct a matrix. Maybe one more question, construct matrix. Or otherwise construct matrix, suppose two by three matrix. Or otherwise two by two matrix, simple question let me take, uh, take two by two matrix. So you have to take that matrices that is like this A11. Elements given over, uh, where the elements A and J equal to. Suppose if they given uh, modulus I minus J. Just an example, let me one question. That is I is less than or equal to J. And then I by J, that is I is greater than J. Suppose construct 2 by 2 matrix, one more question or two more question if they ask. So now we use first to construct a general matrix A11, A12, A21, A2, like this. Okay, fine. Now we have to find all the elements A11. What is I here? 1. J is how much here? 1. So I equal to J. I equal to J here. Relation. So that is equal to 1 minus 2. That is equal to how much will be get it? A1. Then A12. That is what is I. I is 1. J is 2. I is less than J. Again same relation. That is 1 minus 4. That is equal to 3. Now next to what you record? A21. So that is equal to I is greater than J. So this relation you have to use. I is how much here? 1. And J is how much? 2. Um, so I is 2 by 2 by how much? 1. Now next A22. And now I equal to J. Again same relation you have to use. That is equal to 2 minus 4. That is equal to 2. Finally you have to construct the matrix. Now 1, 3, 2 and then 2. Like this they can ask for construction of matrix. Our number 2 what you can prefer. Um, that is sometimes uh, 3x minus 4y equal to some matrices given 1, 5, 7, 3. And then another uh, given as 4x uh, uh, minus y equal to uh, 7, 1, 3, 2 like this. Find the x and y. So x is a matrix, y is a matrix. Find the x and y. So you know how to solve this question. These type of questions they, they can ask for two more questions. Then next to the main if you are coming. Uh, symmetric and skew symmetric matrix. Now symmetric matrix. What is a symmetric, meaning of symmetric, what is meaning of symmetric? Any matrix, any matrix, if it is a symmetric, that equal to transpose. Suppose P is a symmetric matrix, then P equal to P transpose. You know how to take transpose of matrix. Now suppose, suppose, suppose if they say A plus B is a symmetric matrix, A plus B is a symmetric matrix, then A plus B equal to A plus B ka whole transpose. So now what, what I want to say, any matrix can become symmetric, but the condition is that matrix is equal to whole transpose. Then we say officially that is a symmetric matrix. Now suppose next is skew symmetric. What is skew symmetric matrix? Skew symmetric matrix. That matrix is equal to, suppose Q is a skew symmetric matrix. Then Q equal to minus Q transpose. That is called skew symmetric matrix. What is the beauty of this skew symmetric matrix? That is equal to the main diagonal elements are all 0. 0, suppose for example, let me give 1, 2, uh, then uh, that is minus 1, 0, minus 3, um, and then here is um, uh, 
uh, let me take this is 0 and this is 3 and this is minus 2. So, what I told this is two symmetric means main diagonal should be 0. This is 2 mark question. Again, let me explain. And the diagonal, see, here is a plus 2, here is minus 1. Here is a 2, here is minus 2. Here is minus 3, here is just opposite side. Sometimes what they can ask here, they say A. Okay, find the value of A, the matrix becomes Q symmetry. So, automatically, here is minus 3, naturally A becomes what? Plus 3. This type of one mark question, they, maybe they can ask. Now, what I told you, sometimes the question they can ask is show that a false two symmetric matrix, a false two symmetric matrix, uh, the main diagonal elements are 0. Show karna, main diagonal elements are, main diagonal elements are 0. Main diagonal elements are, um, elements are 0. This is already I have proved even then, let me take it. Suppose if I take A equal to any matrix C R J. This is square matrix. Okay, fine. So what they are saying A is a skew symmetric matrix. So given what is given here, A equal to minus A transpose. Am I correct? So that is A I J equal to minus A J I transpose. If I take transpose, then A J I. Now you are talking about which uh, elements main diagonal. What do you know uh, about main diagonal elements? Main diagonal elements I is main diagonal elements. Always I equal to main diagonal elements, always I equal to what is it? J. Suppose if I replace it here, now I am talking about elements, really, uh, this matrix is symbol AII equal to minus AII, that is 2AII equal to 0, where I equal to implies AII equal to 0, where I equal to 1, 2, 3, that is A11, A22, A23 are all 0. So the main target is the main diagonal elements of skew symmetric matrix are always zero. So this is most important one symmetric and skew symmetric. Now sometimes they can ask express any skew symmetric matrix, express any square matrix. Mind it. Now let me explain. Um, express any square matrix. Express any square matrix. Express any square matrix. Any square matrix as a sum of symmetric as a sum of symmetric as a sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix and which matrix skew symmetric now mind it in case if they have given particular matrix then you have to do one thing let p equal to half into in case if you want the express or if you want to split any square matrix into two matrices, one is symmetric and another one is skew symmetric, then you should take always p equal to half into a plus a transpose. A matrix is a given matrix. Half into a plus a transpose is always symmetric. Okay, so what you have to do, we take the transpose. So half into a plus a transpose, the whole transpose. Take both side transpose, what you will get is a half into a transpose plus a transpose, the whole transpose. Now that is equal to half into a transpose whole transpose becomes a. Now this is a remaining same. So you are getting b. So b transpose equal to b means this implies half into a plus a transposes which matrix? Symmetric matrix. So what is the conclusion? If you want to take any matrix a symmetric matrix but you have to prove b equal to b transpose then only I can accept it. yes it is a symmetric matrix. Now skew symmetric always let q equal to half into a minus a transpose is skew symmetric matrix. The same way either skew symmetric or symmetric but take both sides transpose. That is a minus a transpose. Now uh, take it a whole side, both side transpose. Mm, now that is equal to half into a transpose minus a transpose the whole transpose. Now if I take out minus that is I get a minus a transpose. That is I am getting minus a q. That is a q transpose equal to minus a q implies a q equal to minus q transpose. So what is the conclusion? This implies half into a minus a transposes which matrix? Skew symmetric matrix. Now, up, now what we have to do? Express any square matrix. Which one is a square matrix? A is a square matrix. Now a equal to half into a plus a transpose and then plus half into a minus a transpose. Now what I am saying? 
in case if they asked generally you have to derive like this in case if they have given matrices then replace a by here a transpose then bring it particular matrices so that you will get answer so express any square matrix as a sum of symmetric and skew symmetric means you have to take always symmetric as a half into a plus a transpose and skew symmetric as a half into a minus a transpose clear to you this one the last topic for this matrices elementary row operation not necessary elementary row operation maybe they can ask a column operation mind it let me explain just a simple one um, uh, this example 2 by 2 matrices i will take it but you have to very keen about your calculation either row operation maybe they can ask a particular using row operation find the inverse using column operation so please don't use minor row factor this is elementary operation a row operation what we have to do row operation any matrix row operation we can write i into a clear in case if it is a column operation column operation then you have to write down a equal to a into i might it don't change this order answer is the same but we have certain uh, level row operation means we write like this column operation means we write like this for simple example let me take find the a inverse using elementary operation so that is a uh, 1 3 2 5 this they have given so what is your target you make it the main diagonal elements 1 1 1 make the rest of the elements as zero once you brought one using this you have to make it i am going to use row operation make it as zero then your target is here make it one and then do this with the help of this one make it as zero here <coughs> for example a equal to this can be written as i into a i into a okay fine now what is the a matrix here that is 1 3 5 that is equal to 1 0 0 1 in which matrix a matrix now my target is here one i have already one with the help of this one make it here zero now r2 can be written as r2 minus 2 into r1 now i have been bring zero here so that is equal to what i am getting here that is equal to this is one and then three then second row 2 minus 2 0 and then very carefully you have to do the calculation 5 minus 6 that is minus 1 at the same changes you have to do opposite side also r2 we are changing first row is the same second row 0 minus 2 i am getting minus 2 and 1 minus 0 i am getting 1 into a matrix now i need here positive one if i suppose here if i get a zero then a inverse does not exist Here is minus one, so don't divide by r two can be written as r two. Once you are touching row operation up to till end of the question, you have to use row operation. Once they say column operation, you once you have started with the column, then up to end step you have to use column operation. So now what we will get is one three zero one that is equal to one zero two and then minus one in a matrix. Now with the help of this one, make it here zero. So R one can be written as R one minus three R two. Now that is equal to one zero zero one. That is equal to here we will get R one minus three. That is one minus six. That is we will get minus five. And then zero plus three we will get three. Calculation how to do very carefully. And then two minus one into a. So finally what we brought I equal to a plus into a. Where a plus equal to what we are getting minus five three two minus one clear. So even you can check this uh, whether you are correct or not. A plus equal to some simple formula. Let me tell you one way determinant of a into a joint of a. This is a formula. You know? So two by two very easily you can find a joint. One by determinant a into interchange main diagonal and change sign of non diagonal. See determinant. One uh, five minus six minus one. Bahar outside is minus one. Okay. Interchange main diagonal five one. So minus one they have opened here and change sign of non diagonal non diagonal sign. Already minus three minus two. When I open this minus, automatically it will 
becomes. So within a second you can verify this answer through this formula. So like this you have to do elementary operation. Maximum possibilities are there. Elementary operation question will come clear to you. So even some word problems also there and find value of x. Suppose uh, this matrix is given and another matrix is given equal to something x matrix x value of x. So these are all questions, NCRT, so many questions are there, simple, even mathematical induction questions are there, using mathematical induction, how to prove this uh, miscellaneous matrices questions are given. So you have to do thoroughly NCRT, but at the same time when you are doing this uh, uh, elementary operation question, you have to very carefully do a lot of uh, practice, clear to you, so nothing difficult in matrices, so keep confidence so that you can uh, do thoroughly this matrices, okay, clear? So now let us continue determinants.